Hi everyone! Last time I saw you, we were working on making the pop art lady painting. So this video is to teach you how to make the pop art man. So watch this video, have fun. You'll need some paints, you'll need paper and some felts or a marker to finish it off. You can also do this with colored pencils and a marker or whatever you have got. And the idea is to make a pop-up man with a little caption and something that he might be saying. So my man saying, I can't wait to go back to Ranfurly. All right, so let's get started. So let's do the man. So we're going to pop this head on here again. We want to put it in the middle. Now for this, you can see I just draw it lightly to begin with just to give me an idea see if I can fit everything that I want on the page. So I'm just going to imagine, say, shoulders are there. Is that head a good size? I think we can be a little bit smaller, but that's a good guide. So I'll just shore that up a little bit. Give him a bit of a chin. Now, a man's face can have a bit more of a chin than a woman's face, just depends. And a jawline as well. So we want a bit of a sharper edge around that face. Now this head is going to be slightly tipped to the sides and not completely straight on. It's quite common in pop art to have the head not straight on. It was not that common for them to have heads facing directly to the front of the page. Now we'll get that jawline out here. That gives us a bit of a head shape. Now we're going to put our line down the middle here, through the chin. Once you've got your head shape, put your line down the middle. Now you can see that the head is not straight on, so my line is also on a little bit of an angle. And then again, we're going to put our eyes in, about a third of the way down, just put that line in there. So we can see this is where the eyes are gonna go. Nose is going to come down here, and mouth is going to be down here somewhere. So let's start with the nose. I'm going to draw this bridge of the nose here. This is curving around the eye socket. This is the top of the nose. A little curve there for the nostril. A little curve there for the top of the lip. Then we've got a little there for the other nostril. This little curve shows the edge of the nose. And that is our nose. You can see a very minimal amount of line work in this graphic art. So this here is the eye is going to come in here. And the other eye on the other side. And I'll try and get them the same size. Pointy out at the end. Then we've got the pupils. The pupils tell you a lot about what your character is feeling. So this one's going to be, he's going to be looking to the side like, oh, something's happening over there. He's having a look sideways. So whatever we do on that eye, we do here. So again, the pupils generally work together in a face. So we want them both looking the same direction. Then we have our eyelid. Then we have a little bag under the eye. Nice. Now we can get some eyebrows on here. And then on the other side, who's going to come and join onto this part of the nose here? It's going to turn into an eyebrow. The nose turns into an eyebrow. That is the eyebrow there. And we're going to pop the mouth on next. It's going to be along this line here. And the bottom lip, we're just going to put a line under that bottom lip. We're not actually going to draw the whole thing. So again, with this graphic style, we keep it really simple. And then this is the chin. We don't actually need to fill in all the details. And we've got a little bit of shading lines here. Shading lines under here. On the edge of the nose down the forehead and that is our face. Now we can add, we're going to need an ear on here, we've got the side of the head, 
I might give them a little sideburn. Put a little sideburn there. And we can pop the hair on. Let's put the hairline in. So we've got a sideburn. It's going to come in a little bit here. Around the forehead. A little suave haircut. We'll pop a little ear on the side here. Very thin because this is this face is turned. Give it a little left chin there. Okay, and we've got room to add a little bit of clothing onto this as well. So this is the back of his neck. Let's put him in a suit, shall we? You can put your character in whatever clothes that you want. So we're going to draw a V underneath his chin. This is going to be the dark part of under here. It's going to be a little dark. This is... Collar comes around. Give him a tie. And then a bit of a suit jacket on there. So you can add whatever clothing that you want. We are going to need to leave a little bit of room for our caption, so I'm just going to pop that in here, into this little area here. So you can have it, you can do like we did with the girl where you just did the box, or if you like, you can do the speech bubble. So we'll pop the speech bubble on here. Um, what's he going to say, do you think? I can't wait to go back to Grand Furley or whatever your comment might be. And with this here, we're just going to add a few little lines in here. So that is the drawing. So we have a little bit of white with a little bit of red, and a touch of yellow, our basic skin colour, so we'll just pop that skin colour on, and I'm just going to make sure these lines are nice and dark, as well and we will also do his neck spread some of those thick layers out now our man does not have as much colour in his face you can do your pupils uh, whatever colour you want so let's go and do those blue and we'll do the hair. Now the hair is whatever colour you like, but tends to be in these kinds of artworks. They go with black and blue, so they have blue, like the blue shininess to it. So where our lines are, these areas, is where we're going to put the blue. And the other is going to be the black. Now I'm going to put a little bit of white into this. Wherever you put your lines under here, that's where you're going to put the blue. And the rest is going to be black. Alright, let's do some of our extra lines here. Now this is dried out a bit, so let's put our eyebrow in. It's going to be in black. It sounds right, boy. Again, do it in a marker pen if you like. We'll make it a little bit easier, but do wait until your paint is completely dry, otherwise you're going to wreck your markers. Top lip is going to be black. It's a common colour for a man's lip and pop up. They don't like to give them red lips. 
and you will be surprised to know that this lip, the bottom lip, is actually going to be the same skin color here. Then we're just going to put this line underneath. So it's more of a nude lip rather than a bright red lip, which the girl character has. But if you want to give your man bright red lips, well, go for it. No harm in that. This is the shadow underneath the chin here. Black. All right, let's do some fun colors on the clothes. Let's have a nice blue suit. Red tie. And I'm gonna give him a white shirt. Smart white shirt. And we'll do a little bit of that outlining around these pieces of clothing so we can see them. So I hope you enjoyed making your proper man. I would love to see what you created and the message that you put in your caption box. Please send us photos of what you've made. See you soon. Bye.